Prosecutors have demanded that on October 12, Basha provide a statement relating to the charges in the case of Gisiela Maloku and the prosecution of serious crimes seized the second video published by Ervin Saliani. Eddie Rama invited citizens to utilise the platform of co-governance for any and every problem before commenting that some school directors should be removed from office and then presenting a reform of property ownership institutions. The municipality of Tirana finalised the construction of a new playground for the children of Unit No. 9 in Tirana, saying that 35 playgrounds have been built and investments will double in the upcoming mandate. Good evening, it's 6 o'clock on Wednesday the 10th of October 2018. Welcome to the English edition of Aura News. My name is Alexandra and I'm here to bring you the day's top stories from across the country translated into English. This Friday, Democratic Party Chair Lul Zimbasha and DP MP Ervin Saliani have been called upon over two different issues by the prosecution. Basha has been called by the Tirana Prosecution Office following a denunciation for abuse of office by former police officer Emiliana Nuhu in the Gisiela case. Tirana's prosecution has turned into an institution where the majority and the opposition file charges against each other. The Democratic Party charged Prime Minister Rama after his statement declaring that he will follow for former officer Nuhu step by step, while the SP Parliamentary Group Chair Talon Bala charged the DP Chair Lul Zimbasha and several other MPs from the DP for defamation. As a result of a video posted yesterday on Facebook by DP MP Ervin Saliani, which claims to prove that the Chief of Police coerced Freddy Alizotti into confessing, the DP MP has also been called upon by the prosecution of serious crimes. Saliani will also be questioned by the prosecution for the alleged audio tapping of Agron Jafai and Albert Veliu. Today, two serious crime police officers have appeared at the offices of the Democratic Party, where they sequestered the video material broadcast to the media by MP Ervin Saliani. The General Director of Police, Ardi Velio, reacted, denying that he was Alizotti's companion or involved in procedural actions related to the investigation of the so-called Babale case. The General Police Directorate provided a statement today in response to accusations that Velio asserted pressure on Freddy Alizotti, declaring that it is the responsibility of the Police Director to act in accordance with the orders of the prosecution and the court. Albanians have spent more than 130 million euros on casinos, betting and lottery companies throughout the past year. But these businesses will be forced to close their doors at the end of this year, according to a government decision which aims to mend a social wound. Ornella Liperi, the editor-in-chief of the journal magazine, told Aura News that spending per capita by Albanians on gambling has been around 46 euro per year, much, a much higher than comparable countries in the region. While some people gamble in search of a stroke of good luck, others utilise it as their main source of income. The law will have some undesirable effects though, as just eight of the biggest gambling enterprises employ about 7,000 people who will join the category of the unemployed after December 31st. The gambling industry has seen positive growth year after year. There are about 14 companies that operate in the Albanian market and they prove very profitable. According to the declared turnover, earnings for the past year reached 130 million euros, but the true profit value is assumed to be much higher as the rate of informality is understood to be extreme in this industry. In the weekly meeting with citizens who have found solutions for problems thanks to the platform of co-governance, Prime Minister Eddie Rama said that despite the detachment of teachers from the political parties, there are still some directors who should be removed from office. We have not yet ensured that schools are completely independent from the control of politics. One part should be removed as soon as possible from the school's direction, said Eddie Rama. As most complaints come from property registration officers, Rama also announced that in the coming days, the Minister of Justice will present the new reform of the Union of Institutions Related to Ownership Titles. In the coming days, the Minister of Justice, Atilda Jornai, will open public consultation for the project of a radical reform that will merge Aloisni and the Property Registrations Office into a single institution, said Eddie Rama. In expectation of delivering results from reforms, the Prime Minister, Eddie Rama, called on citizens to continue writing to the platform as it takes very little time and many of the citizens' problems have been solved using this process. About 350 collective classes attended by pupils of different age groups have been closed for this educational year. Education Minister Lindita Nicola, while reporting to the Education Commission, said that approximately 2,900 students have been transferred to the nearest schools. The opposition boycotted this commission today, but Ms. Minister Lindita Nicola responded to allegations about the school in Mangel of Albasan, 
where she said that the Democratic Party Member of Parliament created a storm on the glass. Education Minister Lindita Nicola also expressed reservations about some school directors who said that there are still some cases where policymakers are appointed at the head of educational institutions. She said that the School of Directors would train and certify all those aspiring to run schools. One in four people in the world suffer from mental health issues. The World Health Organization raised the alarm that in 2020, depression will be termed the disease of the century, leaving cardiovascular issues as the biggest concern of the past. Doctors in Albania say the number of people seeking help for mental health issues is on the increase. During a meeting with young people today for the World Health Day, the Minister of Health, Ogeta Manastir Liu, presented a new strategy aimed at shifting treatment from psychiatric hospitals to community services. President Ilir Meta has also reacted to the importance of this day through a status in social networks, emphasising the role of family and community on the mental health of a person, especially young people. Mental health is an integral part of general health and is, necessary, is a necessary condition for individual and social functioning. Psychological disorders have a destructive impact on the quality of life with serious personal, emotional, family and social consequences. In this day, on this day, citizens are advised to consult with mental health professionals if they experience problems because not treating them in time may lead to extreme acts such as suicide or murder. Suffice it to recall the Selenitsa massacre in August of this year where a young man with mental health disorders took the lives of eight people. October marks the month of breast cancer awareness across the world and during next month mammography services will be provided free of charge throughout the country. But women and girls in the municipality of Leja cannot carry out this examination at the regional hospital. Despite the equipment having been delivered over a year ago, additional funds are required in order to make it operational. Mammography in Leja in the public structure has not been achieved yet. Although one-year-old mammography equipment has come to Leja's hospital, it has not yet managed to become operational for the reason that an additional budget is needed, said Barda Joni. Under these conditions, they are obliged to receive this service in Škodra or Tirana. But oncologist Barda Joni says that this equipment is very necessary to be in the regional hospital of Leja. Mammography is a basic examination in determining breast cancer disease in age groups over 40, said Barda Joni. Regarding this concern, the directorate of the regional hospital in Leja says that they, they expect the problem to be solved by the Ministry of Health, putting to work the equipment which has already been donated. The children in administrative unit number nine in Tirana will have a new playground built by the municipality of Tirana. The head of the municipality of Tirana, Arion Veliai, said that the investment was realised in cooperation with the Czech embassy in Albania and will also serve as a relaxation area for adults. When we came here for the first time, even during the campaign, there were no children. Not that they did not exist, they were here, but as long as there were no conditions, playgrounds or a safe environment where they could play, they were locked inside. The fact that this is the third playground we have created in Unit 9 and across Tirana a further 35 others proves that when we Albanians focus on work and with a little help from our international friends, we can do wonderful things, said Arion Veliai. Veliai noted that investments will continue both in the last year of this mandate and in the upcoming mandate uh, to make Tirana a children first city. The remaining part of this mandate and our next mandate will make sure we have a small corner in each neighbourhood where children enjoy a life that is worth remembering as a beautiful childhood in Tirana, added the Mayor. The Minister of Health, Ogeta Manister Liu, highlighted the transformation that Unit 9 has undergone, pointing out that three years ago such achievements were unimaginable. And that's the news across the country today. Thank you for watching our English edition this evening and be sure to join me again every Monday to Saturday at 6pm for the latest news from Albania. Once again, on behalf of Aura News, thank you and good night.